I know I probably already said this numerous times, but my strategy from now on out is I'm gonna pretty much. I know I just use magic, but I'm gonna try and abandon magic. Um, that way I'm not spreading myself too thin. And then I'll use my bow and arrow at a distance, and then when they get too close, uh, I'll go swords on them. I should probably get myself a shield, too. Unless I'm gonna be dual wielding. Where are the spiders? There they are. That didn't kill you? Alright. Ah, no. I thought I had my sword. Again, I didn't bookmark it. There we go. Awesome. I'm definitely going to save that level up um, for when I'm fighting off the Dragon Priest. What am I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. Switching over to the bow. Nobody's here. You don't see me. You don't see me. Okay. Dang it. Dang it! Web's in the way. Come back here. I want to shoot you. There we go. I shall also steal your venom. And two more. One. Two. Alright. Venom. Venom. Open the door. And another puzzle. And more Draugr, of course. I don't have the zoom in perk yet. I should get that as soon as I can. Because it's really handy. I'm going to handle all the Draugr first and then tackle the puzzle. Ooh, chest. Gold's always good. Urn, probably have like, what, five gold in it? Six! That was close. Where's the way up? Oh, there it is. Totally missed. I shot way too soon. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Actually, I could probably get one more shot off on him. I love archery duels, where it's just two guys with bows, like, sidestepping and shooting arrows at each other. It's kind of comical. Alright. I think that's it. So now to tackle the puzzle. Um... Let's see, so we got a dolphin there. And a bird there. So I'm guessing that this should be a bird, maybe? And that's a fish. But underneath it is a bird. So I guess I'll try to make this a fish. And then down there, there was... See, that's a snake. So we'll make this guy down here... A snake. Wait, where's the... Back... Yeah, there it is. Wait, uh, arrow, arrow, where'd he go? There it is. Alright. So I think... We've got this. Yep. Again, got it the first try. Admittedly, the puzzles aren't very hard. I actually heard a theory. 
that uh, the reason the puzzles were made easy is so that humans could get in, but Draugr couldn't get out. I don't know if there's any validity to that argument, but it's interesting. But now, we are... Oh, is this like the boss Draugr dude? Nope. Although there are a lot of them. There's a chest that I'm hoping there's healing potions in. Like, really what I want most right now is a health potion. Lots of them. Because I will need them. Sneak increased. If I could get this guy from back here. Oh, he moved. Not cool. Stop moving. Stop moving. I want to shoot you. I want to shoot. Thank you. There we go. Got one. And there should be another guy over here. There he is. Overshot. Or no, there was a pot in the way or something, and I shot the pot. Come on. There he is. Headshot. Or shoulder shot. One of the two. And finish him. There we go. Ooh. Oh, wait. Huh. There's nothing in the chest. Nothing worth taking there. And... Moving on. I can't see. Hang on. There we go. I probably look like an idiot on the recording, just bouncing around off of walls and whatnot. But just remember, I can't see as well as you guys can. Salute you. Get some arrows and some gold. Ah. I very rarely fall into traps, but uh, I just did. Because I heard the noise and I thought it was a um, uh, crypt opening and a dragger was going to come out, but that was not the case. I didn't want to take the wind wrap, I wanted to search the burial urn. Carrots. They only heal one point, but again, I'm taking whatever I could get. You have to imagine, like, how long have the carrots been here to still be edible and not rotten? Come on, go up the stairs. There we go. Uh, oh, you're right there, dude. Oh, he's through a window. Okay. Remember, I can hardly see anything. Is that all of them? I think it is. Sweet. Gold. Ooh, gems, gold. Wait, one arrow too. Activate this. And go through the gate. Easy as that. Again, I'm just glad I'm sheltered underneath all this stone while there's two dragons swooping around out there just waiting for me to come back out. And then if I'm right, 
There's a, um, a dragon claw puzzle thing here, too. Oh, 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 trap. Trap. It's a trap. Yeah, I activated it anyways. Like, oh, look, there's a trap. Let's walk right into it. Yay. Because I was looking for, like, a, a pressure plate or a trip wire. I didn't see any. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Or does this trigger something else? Nope. There we go. Oh, an overlord. Oh, not cool. No, he's not that tough, to be honest. Gold. And... Not worth it. I recently started, instead of just taking the most valuable items, I compare their value versus their weight. Um, so if something's only worth 50 gold, but it weighs 0.1, I'm like, well, that's good, because for every pound, I get 500 gold out of it. Um, so I'm trying to maximize my wealth slash carrying capacity. So if it's really, really... um. You don't have any arrows? Okay. If it's really, really um, valuable, but it's pretty heavy, I won't take it. But if it's moderately valuable, but really light, I'll take it. Oh, wait, I didn't even bother checking the, um, the claw. The claw! Toy Story reference right there. I haven't seen the third Toy Story. I've been told it's really awesome. Um... Apparently, there's a really, really emotional moment that a lot of people cried at with, like, uh, they're going into some kind of fire or something, and they all hold hands in a circle or whatnot. I don't know. Where's the claw? There it is. I've seen the first and the second one, and I like them, but I just haven't seen the third one yet. I don't know why. So it looks like I've got a fox, a dragonfly, and I can't tell what that last one is on my screen. A dragon? Maybe? I don't know. So, fox. That one's already a dragonfly. Or butterfly or something. And this one is the dragon. There we go. Okay. Now it should work. And there we go. I love these doors. They're so cool. Like, wouldn't it be awesome if you had that as, like, your house door? Okay. Are these skeletons dead or are they... Okay. Because there's always like undead sitting in thrones and sometimes they're like alive and sometimes they're actually dead. And it's like, okay. You have to be very careful around them. A word wall! Awesome! I'm looking for the, the trap, like the enemies waiting to swarm me as I go towards the word wall. Which one is this? Storm call, awesome. This will help out immensely. For those of you who haven't played Skyrim, um, storm call does exactly what it sounds like it does. It calls a storm and lightning comes down and strikes you. Well, not you, all of your enemies. Random burnt corpse, all right. Wait a minute. Sometimes they do this. Sometimes they put like a charred corpse right next to a trap. So it's kind of like a warning as to where the trap is, but I can't see anything, so there we go. No trap, we're good. Ooh, what's in here? Gold. 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 Slowly becoming rich. Five gold at a time. Health potion. Thank you. Potion of Magicka. I'll use that so I could replenish my Magicka while I'm healing myself. Because inevitably, I'm going to be casting a lot of healing spells. Alright, and I believe this goes back outside. What time is it? Hey, so at least I'll be able to see because there'll be a light out. 
I'm gonna save. That's one thing I liked about Morrowind that you can't do in either of these is um, you can just rest in the wilderness and it would heal yourself, but here you have to find a bed. So ideally I could go out, fight them all, and then if I'm close to dying, just run back in here and heal myself. But here we go, uh, back outside, and we're going to take on two dragons and a dragon priest. Should be fun.